Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can define a local scope in our batch scripting. So let me go ahead and write uh, one function. So on top, I'm just using echo off. Then I'm just uh, calling one function called display name. Okay, and here what I want to do is uh, I'm just using set and then slash p to give a prompt to end user and I'm using name variable and here I'm just writing a message called enter your name and I'm just giving two spaces so it will display this message enter your name on the screen and once user enter the name it will display that on the screen so for that I'm just using echo command and writing your name is and then in percent sign I'm using that variable called name okay and after that i'm just using go to end of file and before that function i'm just calling that function so i'm just using go to and display name okay let me save this and if i run that script over here then you can see it's asking me or just giving me prompt to enter the name so i'm just entering a name called rahul and then in displaying that name okay and we and the script is executed and now suppose if i use set and enter then you can see over here is actually storing that particular variable and its value so it's actually storing that variable and it's actually you can say it's declaring that as a global variable and that will be available in this particular cmd.exe so until and unless we are not closing this cmd.exe it will be there but we don't want that in actual scripting uh, it is not recommend to declare each and every variable as a global global scope or uh, you should not declare all the variable globally you should use all the variable as a local variable and if it is required then you have to use that as a global variable so to do that we are going to use a uh, set local and end local command over here so let me close this cmd and i am opening this once again let me switch back to my folder okay and here what i'm going to do is after this particular function name i'm just using set local and after this echo command i'm using end local okay now let me save this and i'm running this once again and it's asking for the name i'm entering my name rahul and it's just displaying that name and if i type set then you can see right now it's not storing any variable called name okay so on line number six we have declared that set local or line number nine we have declared end local so whatever written in between these two lines it's actually declaring that as a local variable or it will be there for this particular batch script once that script is end it will remove that uh, variable so it will not store that variable as a global variable for this cmd.exe but you need to make sure that uh, whatever the variable that you want to declare as a local variable you should declare between this set local and end local commands so if you write something after end local then it will store as a global variable so for example let me also take uh, also declare one more variable i'm just declaring number and then equal to enter number okay and then i'm just using echo command your number is and in percentage i'm just displaying that number okay so let me save this file and let me run this bat file again so right now it's asking me for the name i'm i'm just entering name rahul 
then it's uh, asking for the number I'm just entering number 2 okay is just display that your number is 2 now if I use set command and if I just scroll up then you can see it's actually storing that number variable uh, as a global variable but you can see that it's not storing name variable because we have written this name variable or we have declared this name variable inside set local and end local and whatever is there outside these two uh, set local and end local command it's actually declaring that as a global variable so you need to make sure that uh, how to use this particular commandlet uh, is it is it is recommend that if you are writing a small script and it is not required to store any variable globally for this particular cmd.exe session just use set uh, local on your top and end local at the bottom so whatever you are writing in between that you are declaring or defining a function or variable it will be only uh, consider that as a local variable or a local scope it will not define that as a, as a global scope okay so this is how you can use a uh, local scope in your bash scripting